Hey guys, welcome back to Feeling is Healing. Today I'm talking about this sense of impending doom. I'm talking about what is it, where does it come from, as well as different ways of managing it. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a mental health professional. Please see one if you feel you need one. This is just me sharing my thoughts and my experience. So, as some of you know, my journey with more intense anxiety symptoms started around three years ago. It was following a breakup and a time in my life where there was just a lot of upheaval. It was very overwhelming. It all ended up getting to me up to the point where I reached my breaking point. And it felt as if I was losing my mind <laughs> or I had already lost it. And alongside these physical intense anxiety symptoms and the intrusive thoughts, if that wasn't enough to deal with, there was also this feeling of impending doom. For me, impending doom is a feeling that something awful is going to happen. It's a feeling of dread that can really be overpowering. And it manifests physically with what you might call emotional flooding, where the body is flooded with cortisol and adrenaline. And it can feel very scary. It's something which I experienced pretty often and something which I still do experience sometimes but not as frequently as I used to and so what can we do about this feeling um, and honestly I think it's the same what can we do about any feeling that you've got different options you can uh, you can run away from it you can suppress it or you can let it in you can embrace it and allow it and I get it it's hard it, it's really hard to it's it's almost like we're programmed to not want to feel those feelings right it's like oh danger where's the saber-toothed tiger <laughs> um you know to defend my family from but but there's nothing there right so it's like your body has all these this physical energy and it's and it's feelings of like whoa what's going on and it can be super overwhelming uh usually my first instinct was and still is sometimes just to run away from the feeling but gradually and it's still a process just working on allowing myself to feel it working through it that way by embracing it it's just like any other feeling or emotion it's only through letting it in and feeling it that we allow it to pass through us or at least lessen its intensity what you resist persists the more heightened our reactivity is to this feeling, the more, the more the feeling will affect us and the more we will actually feed the feeling, right? But by softening, softening the space uh, that we feel the feeling in, uh, we can neutralize it or lessen its impact on us. Try not to see the feeling as the enemy, the healing is in the feeling after all and I've been working on a, this mindset of whatever I'm feeling is a good thing to not see it as a bad thing it's like oh I'm anxious it's like no it's like oh I'm anxious that's good a chance to to feel and to experience and to heal because the healing only takes place whilst you're feeling it and seeing the feeling actually is a good thing no matter how overwhelming it can feel and I get it <laughs> But seeing it is a good thing. It's something that I'm working on and I believe it's helping. With a level of conscious and consistent practice, we can see these feelings becoming less of an issue. They still pop up, but maybe not as often and not as intense when they do. One thing I notice for me is that these feelings are often so physical that it's useful for me to engage my body as well. Yes, there's the aspect of embracing it, but also when working through it, it can be useful to use the body. What I find useful is dancing. I like dancing because it also engages the emotional aspect. Any emotions that have come alongside this feeling of impending doom, which for me is often shame and grief, I, through dance, it, that expressive nature of dance allows the emotions to work through as well, as well as working out those tense uh, fight or flight feelings in the body. 
Um, but for you, it might be something else. It might be a different kind of exercise or sport. Another thing which I try to bear in mind is the nature of impermanence. No feeling lasts forever. And even when I zoom out on a broader scale, I think about the time when I was really at my lowest point and it was really hard. It was really scary. And I just thought, whoa, this is it. This is, this is my life now. This is how I'm going to be forever. Uh, just almost every day, just feeling overwhelmed and out of control, basically. But it, it wasn't, it didn't last forever. It, it did pass. I had better times and then there were other times uh, which were a challenge again. It's really the, the, na the nature of impermanence, even on a broader scale. In the, in the short term, the feelings here now, it will be gone soon enough. <laughs> um, and even phases of life, you know, it, uh, a few di a difficult season, but it passes. You know, um, and they especially pass when we when we do the work and when we can be self compassionate and accepting of of what we're going through. The acknowledgement that yes, what I'm feeling is challenging. This this is hard. However, these feelings, feeling this way, it's it's part of the human experience. It's something that everyone, if not the vast majority of people, go through at some point in their life. Something else which I try to keep in mind is to try and keep a holistic view of my life or take a holistic view of my life to look and see, am I meeting my needs or am I even paying attention to the question of what my needs are? Am I spending time doing things which I enjoy? Do I have things to look forward to? Right, because when we have that feeling of excitement about something in the future, it can help offset the feeling of dread, right? It's, it's like, yeah, feeling dread and fear about the future. That is something everyone feels. Because <laughs> the future is unknown and it can be scary. But equally, if we can have things that we look forward to, if we can remind, help remind ourselves that life and something that I do for myself especially is remind myself like I'm here to enjoy life too. I'm here to enjoy it. And I can get so serious and intense and especially when it comes to my feelings <laughs> or when feelings are involved, it can be helpful to yeah remember some lightness. Not to run away from the work which I want to do, the internal work, but actually it strengthens me and allows me to do more work on myself allows me to sit with these feelings more if I also meet my other needs. And some of my needs are <laughs> that, yeah, I want to do things which are fun. I want to enjoy myself and I want to connect with people. I want to have people around me that care about me and I care about them. And those kind of people, they're not always easy to find. But even if you don't, f you don't have them in your life, being intentional about, I would like these people in my life. After all, I do think it helps to have others to go through this with you, or if not with you, to at least relate to your journey, to find a community where you can share a bit about how you're feeling, or even create one if, if you can't find one. Uh, because I really do think healing is more forthcoming within the context of a community or a shared group. And that is where I'll leave it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. Let me know down in the comments how this feeling of impending doom has affected you guys and what you do uh, that helps. I'll be curious to hear. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.